This President's Day weekend, hundreds gathered in Carbon County to close out a milestone annual winter celebration. 2822's Ai Jiang was among the large crowd for Winterfest in Jim Thorpe today. She joins us live in studio now with the story. Good evening, Ai. Good evening, Gianna. Sunday marks the last day of the Weekend Fund in Carbon County that brought together people from all over the region. Winterfest in Jim Thorpe had its final day on Sunday, and people looked forward to all that the festival had to offer. We're looking forward to doing the wineries and the wine taste testing, and we're looking forward to doing some shopping, checking out all the little shops. It's a nice day to just get out and walk and enjoy the sunshine and see the sights. It's a nice area. The cold weather was no big deal to them. We're dressed and ready yeah. for it. We got our gear on, we got our gloves, our hat, our boots, we're ready, we're getting the fresh air. So the, the, the colder weather is nothing? No, we kind of wanted to, we were looking for something to do in the middle of winter. They had a horse-drawn carriage ride for people to take a ride on, food and sweet treats. But one kid came here for the train ride and something else. Well, we were just walking around, some candy and kettle corn. This annual Winterfest attracts people from all over to Jim Thorpe. From Jim Thorpe, this is my hometown, my parents' hometown, and we brought our visitors from Delaware up here to share the beautiful town. Yeah. Maggie Roof says although the Winterfest is what brought her to town, she was also looking forward to the scenic views. To see the mountains, definitely. Where and we're from, it's so flat that we don't have this, so it's beautiful. <laughs> and the train ride. Yeah. We're going to take the train ride yeah. today. Winterfest will continue till 8 p.m. tonight, so if you have not gotten out there yet, you still have a chance. In the studio, I.E. Jiang, 2822 News. I.E., thank you.